people and welcome to Kutch Tarot. My name is Jane and I'm here with your reading for those of you who are Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and we're going to be getting some love messages from your person. That person on your mind right now, what would they like to say to you that perhaps they haven't been able to express to you up until this point? What's going on with them in regards to that? What is their love message for you today? This is just going to be a general reading. So just take anything that resonates for you. Leave anything else then for the viewers who come along later. If you were interested in a personal reading, including this style reading, then you can find my details to book in the description the box below. Okay, so let us get started and get some tarot. We do have the beautiful page of cups with a lovely opening to this reading for you, Aries. Let's get a few more tarot before we say too much here, though. We have the three of cups. We've got the king of swords. And they take six tarot cards all together. We've got the four of wands. And then we'll get your messages cards. And we're also going to get some oracle cards as well for you. What else have we got, please? What is this person's message to Aries? We have the Eight of Swords, we have the Seven of Cups, and we do have the Two of Swords. Interesting. At the bottom of this deck, we do have the High Priestess here, so you could be highly re relying right now on your intuition, or perhaps that is some guidance here for you. I do feel okay for some of you at least here, okay, this person could be in a current situation with somebody else, okay, um, that's not going to be the case for all of you here of course, okay, but this person is certainly feeling stuck and trapped right now. As much as I feel this person wants to come towards you, okay, they do have romantic feelings for you. They are feeling a little bit limited, perhaps just in their mind space, okay? Or they could, as I say, be another person or a situation that is keeping them from making these moves towards you is something I'm strongly getting here. <clears throat> Excuse me. For some of you here, okay, do feel okay right now. This person is kind of keeping their um, options open as well, okay? Or maybe getting caught up in their fears in regards to this being a little bit too good to be true is the other message that's coming through here. This person does see you, okay, as the opportunity to have um, a very solid, committed relationship with. And I do feel, okay, this causes for your person to get a little bit fearful. With the King of Swords being here, this could be somebody who is an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra could mean something to you. And we do have Water, Scorpio, Cancer and Pisces as well. Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. But yeah, with the King of Swords being here, this is somebody who does have a lot of emotions, does have a big heart, but they are very guarded. This person could have been hurt from previous cycles, okay, um, and they could come from quite a, a logical mind space is what I'm getting here. Let's get some actual messages from this person. What else would they tell you? So they are feeling a little bit stuck is one of the things they would tell you straight away here, okay? They do have these romantic feelings for you. And I also want to say that your intuition is right, okay? Whatever that is in regards to. We've got here, sometimes when we touch, the energy is too much. And that actually wanted to jump out of my hands there. We've also got October. So the month of October could be significant for some of you here. We've also got in the near future. I was just about to say perhaps this person is thinking about reaching out and you could hear from this person in October, especially with that in the near future here. I also get, okay, this person's trying to make some sort of a decision in regards to this connection. We have, this is a spiritual connection. So for some of you, okay, you are dealing with a high level of soulmate or a twin flame, even um, especially with this four of wands being here, actually, that can be a signifier of the 11-11 connection. The Four of Wands, okay, is also like a gateway as well. It's an opportunity, okay, to walk into almost a different kind of land. And I feel a person might be a little bit weary, a bit scared of that. Especially if this is a higher level soulmate, okay, twin flame, okay, those tr connections can be very triggering indeed. And it's not always plain sailing. We've got weight. So right now, perhaps this person is hoping that you are going to wait, you are going to be patient with them. And I'm also getting the message here for you to just wait for this person to figure things out as well. I'm not saying put your life on hold in any way, shape or form, okay? But just give this person the space that they need right now to figure things out because they do certainly feel this strong pull in your direction. We've got you hurt me too, please forgive me, I can forgive you. So that's interesting, perhaps this person has hurt you or you've hurt this person in some kind of way. There is that need for forgiveness and the desire for that here. Let's get a couple more from this deck for you. 
We've also got here for you Soulmate Beautiful. So this person does recognise you as a soulmate. And I did just notice 505. So you could be noticing these synchronised numbers. But 5 is that number, okay, perhaps in balance. Perhaps things haven't been very balanced with this person in the recent past, okay. And it's also about significant changes, okay, that don't necessarily feel wonderful. But they are for the greater good. Um, and I feel that could be something your person is experiencing right now. Perhaps there is this call for them to become more in touch with their, their own intuition here. And for them perhaps to do a little bit of healing as well with this Four of Swords energy here. At the bottom of this deck we do have, I thought we were just physical. So why do I feel so much more? And I feel that's really interesting, okay? Perhaps this was just, you know, sort of a, a friend situation, okay, that has developed, especially with that Three of Cups energy there. Um, but this person certainly feels a lot more than a physical attraction towards you. But this does, okay, cause them a lot of confusion with the emojis there and this Seven of Cups energy as well. This person could certainly be dreaming about you at this time as well is another message I'm getting here. Let's get some more messages. I have sexy thoughts about you all the time. So like I say, there's a passion this person feels towards you as well. But it's not just about that passion. Because they love you like they have never loved anyone. That's really beautiful. It is very, um, a different kind of love. A different, um, an upgrade in their energy could even be required. So like I say, for them to dig a little bit deeper. I want you so much. This person does want to be with you. Okay, that strong desire is certainly there. We will come back together. I feel it too. So this person is feeling, like I say, this pull towards you. They are feeling this in their heart space, even if they are a little bit guarded there. But I do, as I say, feel they're trying to make some sort of a decision right now in regards to this connection. We've got nobody gets me like you do. So I feel like I say you intuitively, okay, you pick up on this person, trust in your own intuition. Maybe it is about this person having these feelings they haven't expressed to you. I need to repair the damage I have caused, but how? This person certainly could have hurt you in some kind of way, okay? For some of you, like I say, it could be a third party situation here. For others of you, okay, this person could have just kept themselves stuck okay in these self-limiting beliefs perhaps you had more faith in this person this connection than this person did at the time but they do want to repair the damage as i said i do feel they want your forgiveness i have many lessons to learn so this person is currently learning these lessons okay um along the way as you two connect with one another and i don't feel okay even if you are in a separation situation there's no contact okay i do feel that you do still connect through dreams and intuitively, okay, do feel you pick up on this person's energy. We've also got, well, we still meet up in the 5D. So as I'm saying that, okay, that's kind of like confirmation of that there for you. And this person is feeling that energy and I do feel, wow, I dream of you. It all feels so real. I reach out for you and you're not there. This person is certainly dreaming about you and missing you. And you could be sharing these dream experiences together as well. <coughs> excuse me I must say I do feel this is a spiritual connection for many of you here it's certainly a high level of soulmate that you are dealing with this person does need more time they do want for you to be patient with them while they figure things out right now because they are working on self-love absolutely beautiful this person could have certainly brought some lessons in regards to self-love for yourself as well the healing is almost complete i just need a little more time to find the courage wonderful this is looking really really promising for you aries i think about reaching out to you but my ego gets in the way so there is still that self-limiting belief of some kind okay which is kind of causing a bit of a delay with regards to this person but i do feel they are going to figure it out in the long run we also have, I know I took you for granted, I didn't see what was right there in front of me. So for some of you, this person did take this connection for granted. Perhaps they didn't recognise the depth of their feelings for you, okay? At the time, like I say, and for others, they've kind of played it down with this kind of friends vibe, okay? When there's so much more going on and they they do feel it, okay? I feel you both feel it deep in your souls. You could be very different from your person as well is the other message I'm getting here. So let's get some more oracle cards. <clears throat> My throat is really tickly throughout this reading, okay? So your person could certainly be struggling with getting their words out, with expressing how much you mean to them. For Aries, what is their message from their person, from their heart space at this time? We've got yin, yang. 
and it says like the yin yang symbol twin flames contain an aspect of each other's character within them beautiful i do feel you're both learning lessons together here and i do feel you could be dealing with your divine counterpart okay your complete um mirror match for some of you here is something i'm getting i did just notice the past lives card there but we will see what comes out for you let's get one more from this deck We've got honour and it says honour your loved ones and you will notice your relationship becoming stronger. With tested at the bottom of this deck, your strengths and weaknesses are being tested. I do feel you test each other. You've encouraged each other to grow. Okay, and this is a post this is a message this person wants to deliver to you that they have grown that they're not the same person as you quite remember they are still having these self-limiting beliefs okay and they are still going through these lessons and learning um how to do this the other thing i'm getting here okay the other thing I'm getting here right now is that this person could actually be studying something, okay, outside of this connection. But I feel for many of them, okay, they are actually, they're learning, okay. And they're learning a lot about love. And ultimately, we do have the love conquers all underneath that with the 1111. So I do find that quite interesting as well. I feel you could be mirroring this person. You're both kind of feeling this vibe together is what I'm getting. You could both right now be feeling a little bit stuck on each other is something I'm getting. And both not really knowing the way forward but i'm hearing here you don't need to know the way forward because it's going to be shown to you trust in your own intuition is the final message i have here for you aries so that has been your messages from your person reading i do hope it has been helpful please let me know in the comments below how it resonates with you in your situation and if you want to give a like share subscribe i'd really appreciate that as well i will catch you on another reading soon take care everyone bye